Hey, this is the Eldonzo and D show. And uh, if you heard some crackling noises right now, you're probably smoking too much crack. What do you think, D's? Uh, I think it's the aliens. It must be the aliens interfering with our uh, with our transmission or broadcast. I don't know. But hey, this is the Eldonzo and D show. I'm Eldonzo. No, I'm D's. Now and we've got some crazy stuff that we were talking about here in the in the in on the first segment of the show. And we want to get right back to that because we've got some other stories that correlate with this, correct, these? Absolutely. If, and oh. if, if you missed the beginning of the show and you're just now tuning in, we're talking about a whistleblower coming forward from the government that is saying that not only has a United States government captured alien vehicles, alien aircraft, spacecraft, but they've also captured the alien pilots or they have remains of them these go tell the listeners what the hell is going on with this yeah <clears throat> he sat down with a long interview and the quote was exactly well naturally when you recover something that's either landed or crashed sometimes you encounter dead pilots and believe it or not as fantastical as that sounds it's true we are definitely not alone the data points quite empirically that we're not alone. Okay, so check this out. There's no way that anybody can tell me right now that we are alone in the universe. Okay, there's. There, I, I, I don't care what I don't care what you say. The universe is so expansive. You can't say we're alone. Now you can say, hey, has anybody ever had the any other foreign, foreign, alien life form ever had very the very foreign? Exactly. Ha 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 ha. Has any other alien life form developed the technology to make it here? And I say as much of a drop in the bucket as the human race is, that absolutely, that's absolutely possible that they've done it. And I would be amazed that they haven't found us yet. Uh, this is a lot of BS when people go, well, no, there's no such thing as aliens. You know, my nephew, he, well, there can't be aliens because the Bible says didn't say anything about aliens. All right, come on, man. Give me a break, dude. There's got to be something else there. We've known it. I've seen UFOs. Unexplained stuff. You cannot explain what's going on with this. So many people have seen these things. Now, a lot of it, okay, and we've gone over this before, can be explained away. They can be replicated by people on the ground. But there's some stuff, like the Tic Tac thing that shoots up like this, and so we get in the trying to get to the camera for the YouTube live stream. It goes, it, it doesn't make any sense. It is beyond our technology. And I'm going to tell you something. If somebody says it's not alien technology, it's maybe China or Russia, that's BS, and I'll tell you why. Because if China or Russia had that technology and we didn't, we'd be smoked. Dude, we'd be wiped off the face of the planet. This is intelligence right now that's beyond our uh, ability to comprehend it. Yeah, and also in the interview, he says that, you know, he, he mentions that not only has the United States discovered these things, but so have our allies and defense contractors. They've had of. And, and he has said that it's basically a covert arms race that has been going on upwards of 80 years, which would put it back to like the 40s and 50s when Roswell was what, the 50s? Roswell, what, no, I think I believe Roswell was the late 40s. I think it was. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And then if you recall, and any of you out there, uh, if you watched the live stream that we did last Saturday, um, me, Donzo, and uh, Kevin Ferris from Speechless right here on Cities 92, uh, we actually talked a little bit about the aliens because we read a story about uh, the Marine base in California right. that had uh, this weird looking thing flying over it with multiple lights on it. And on top of that, Today in the New York Post, or, yeah, in the New York Post, a story has come Parst. out. Parst. 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 Your mama come sure out does care about your education, bro. From Las Vegas. And this apparently occurred on uh, uh, April 30th, around midnight to May 1st. And there's video. If you haven't seen it, go on to the New York Post and check it out. There's video of a large, very bright blue light that streams down through the sky and looks like it lands uh, on the on the ground. And this, this isn't some jack wagon in his backyard filming this. This is on a police body cam. And around the same time, shortly thereafter, actually 39 minutes later, another man who lives about 80 miles from Area 51, 
made a chilling call to 911 saying that there were two unknown entities in his backyard after he and his family saw a similar object fall from the sky. And this is what he said on the 911 call. You can listen to it on the post, but this is the quote. There's like an eight foot person beside it and another one is inside of it. And he's talking about, he had a forklift back there. He has big eyes and is looking at us. It's still there, the homeowner told police dispatch. In my backyard, I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually, we're terrified. They're very large. They're like eight, nine, ten feet tall. They look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes, like I can't explain it, and a big mouth. They're shiny eyes, and they're not human. They're 100% not human. Oh. So by the time the cops got there, of course, they were gone. Um, yeah, dude. I'm... <laughs> Here's the funny thing about all this that I find, I don't know if you want to call it ironic, whatever. If any of our longtime listeners, and when I say long time, I mean back 2020, 2021, when uh, the world went to heck in a handbasket. Yeah. yeah, you could say that again. If you recall, what was going on back then? COVID, George Floyd, BLM, all this stuff that was just... Distraction is what it was. Chewing up the news. Yeah. And... What happened then? The very first reports came out from these uh, pilots. And you can go online anywhere and, and look at the videos where they have actually captured things that there is an actual man-made aircraft flying close to, across their vision, whatever. And, and again, we made the same comments back then that there really wasn't a lot of chatter about it. But at the same time, we had a lot of stuff going on. Now we get to this. What's going on in the world right now? Well, first of all, if I may chime in, we're facing thermonuclear war, mm -hmm. which is a big issue in my opinion. We're facing AI that, that wants to make us extinct. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got our society right now. Civilization is in free fall. Yep. Our democracy is in free fall. We're looking at third world war between NATO, uh, China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. We've got a lot of sticks going on right now, dude. Yeah, which, you know, he got basically permission from people in the Pentagon to leak this report. That, that he has to, because I'm going to yeah. tell you something. No, it, he it said he was going to whistle. the article, yeah. Oh, he'd be dead. Oh, he'd be dead. He'd yeah. be gone. You wouldn't hear of him. Yeah. This is this is by design. They're letting this go. Now, yeah. big question is, and we're coming up on a break here in a little bit. Uh, if you're just tuning in, this is the Eldonzo and D show on Cities 92.9. But I want everybody to think about this. Why? Is it a distraction? Or, hell, I'm going to go really far out there in left field. Have, have these life forms already made contact with us and said, look, we're here for a reason? We were talking about, we covered that story about the, uh, the missile silos that had a lot of UFO phenomenon flying around them mm -hmm. and was shutting them down, was deactivating these missiles, these nuclear missile silos. Is this for a reason? And look, I know this sounds... Somebody may be tuning in and listening to this and be going, these guys are out of their gore. Crackheads these crackheads. These Yeah, these crackpots. Hey, look, it's in the news. we got to analyze it. we got to think about this. Nothing's out of the realm of possibility. Look, I'm going to tell you something right now. If, if these right over there, if lobsters started crawling out of his ears right now, that would not surprise me. Nothing. Nothing surprises El Donzo, okay? I've seen some weirdness in my life. I've seen weird people do weird things. I've seen things I can't explain. I've seen ghosts. I've seen weird stuff. I've heard weird things. I've seen weird things in the sky. Nothing surprises me, okay? No, I I mean, even before all this stuff started going on. Except I, the audio right now on Deez's line. That kind of surprises me. I don't know what the static is, but we'll figure it out in the yeah. next segment. Uh, I have always believed that there's been life out there. Uh and I've always believed that they have been here. And These? That, yeah. I got a question. Right. Do you believe in life <laughs> after love? No, but I believe in aliens. That's an answer. <laughs> As Michael Jackson said, You <laughs> are not alone. Little boy, you are not alone. Yeah, it's... Come uh, lovely rich. Man, it, it's really kind of frightening, the fact that A, this stuff is happening, and B, nobody's really talking about it. I don't know. Is it, is it really frightening? Like embrace the suck, dude. What are you going to do? Well, about yeah. It? What, what's it? What are either you and I well, going to do I mean, about gee, it? Gee, we had, 
We're worried about alien or AI killing us. We're worried about China nuking us. Now we got friggin' aliens. Like, hey, brother, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. This is the El Donzo and D show. Deep in thought here on Cities 92.9, the news We're talk of Plymouth something. and Normal. And we'll be right back. Hold hey, guys, D's here. Just wanted to say thanks for checking out the first two parts of our weekly radio show here on YouTube. The rest of the show can be found at the website that is scrolling across the bottom of your screen right now. In fact, it has all 20 of the episodes that we have done for Cities 92.9. Uh, typically, most of the content that we put on the YouTube is different from what we do in the radio show for the simple fact that uh, we can be a little more uh, off the cuff here, uh, say things like, fuck. But anyway, check us out. Follow us on Twitter at Eldonzo D's. Make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Helps us build our brand. Uh, we got some really, really cool things coming your way. So yeah, thanks a lot for listening and we will see you next time. Oh,